the last one exhale reach and inhale come back and shoulders down shake your legs a little bit inhale deeply through your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth all right and now i want you to allow yourself to put your hand behind your hips here Since you are welcome to Pilates with Hena, I was on Instagram this morning and guess what? I found out that Miss Universe this year, she's beautiful and talented and amazing and she has something in common with you and also with me that we're both doing Pilates and she even said that everyone should at least try Pilates once it may sound silly because I never met her in real life but I somehow feel like really motivated to do this workout, to do this video and if you haven't tried Pilates yet then why not just roll the mat and let's join us for this Alright, now let's start by allowing yourself to sit along the mat so open your legs hip width apart bend your knees and put your feet down now I want you to inhale and bring your arm to the front now lengthen your spine, pull the belly button in if you need the support of the pillow or anything to sit on it to make sure that you keep your spine lengthening then please do it now lengthen your arms to the front palms facing each other and slide back to open your chest inhale deep into your nose, lengthen your neck, look towards the front and exhale slowly, lean backward and then inhale come back and exhale slowly lean backward again you don't have to go so far just really listen to your body and go as far as you need to and as you can and make sure you always lengthen your spine here lengthen and keep looking towards the front inhale and exhale or you can reverse the breath if it's easier for you and very good keep breathing beautiful press your feet down and two more times stay with your own breath and last one, inhale and exhale slowly, come back now palms facing down to the mat inhale and exhale, reach forward inhale, bring it back, drop your shoulders and reach forward and then come back keep breathing, pull the belly button in you can feel free to lengthen your legs and open your legs with a pad dorsiflex flex with your feet if you feel like you want more challenging in this position and feel free to soften your knees when you flex forward Otherwise, just try to lengthen your legs and press your sitting bones down and engage your core, pull the belly button in, use your core to roll back. Two more times, stay with your own breath. Now, last one, exhale, reach and inhale, come back and shoulders down. Shake your legs a little bit, inhale deeply through your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth. All right, now I want you to allow yourself to put your hand behind your hips here soften your knees now open your chest and pull the belly button in close your elbows to the back activate your feet now i want you to inhale lean backward and make sure you keep your shoulders far away from your ears now lift one leg up bring it down to the other side and then come back engage your core as much as possible we're going to do it six more times each side here with your own breath to your left come back to your right and down inhale lift and exhale down squeeze your thighs Activate your feet and contract your pelvic floor muscles here and four to the other side Three belly button all the way in and make sure you always open your chest and lengthen your spine in this movement Pull the belly button in and two to your left and last one inhale lift Exhale down to the other side and slowly bring it back hug your knee to your chest and inhale deeply to your nose And exhale deeply through your mouth all right, and now I want you to slowly lengthen your legs and activate your feet, keep your feet and your knees, your heels together here. Now, pull the belly button in, bring your arms all the way up to the ceiling. Inhale, and exhale, flex forward. Inhale, roll each vertebra at a time and then come back, lift your arms up. We're gonna do it five more times with your own breath. So exhale, reach as far as you can and inhale, slowly bring it back, drop your shoulders again and four, Pull the belly button in and really lengthen your spine when you flex forward. Use your core to roll back, drop your shoulder and sit tall when you bring your torso back to the center. Exhale, reach. Inhale, come back. Shoulders down, belly button in. And two. Very good. 
And the last one. And reach, exhale. Inhale, slowly bring it back. Drop your shoulders and then arms down. Shake your legs a little bit. Inhale deeply to your nose. And exhale deeply to your mouth. All right. And now you're going to allow yourself to sit in the middle of the mat here. Open your chest again and bring your legs up so you can start with one leg at a time to make it easier. And find a balanced spot on your sitting bone here. Pull the belly button in, arms to the front. So you can keep your arms parallel to your upper leg. Or if you want to make it easier, you can always keep your hands behind your knees here. Now engage your core and dusty flex with your feet. Now inhale and slowly rotate to the other side. So every time you switch, I want you to try to keep dusty flex with your feet when you bring it up. And then down, activate, keep breathing, inner thighs, engage your core, and inner thighs squeezing. Belly button in, beautiful. So you can always lift your arms up for more challenge. Keep breathing, and belly button in, in three, two, and the last one. To the other side, and slowly bring it down. Shake your hips a little bit, inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth. And when you're ready, I want you to lengthen your legs, open your legs a bit apart and you can slowly put your hands on your thighs, round your spine, chin your chest and each vertebra at a time, engage your core as much as possible and lay all the way down on your back. Alright, and now I want you to allow yourself to lift your legs up to 90 degree here, your hips square. So you can pull your knees further away a little bit, pull the belly button in and arms along your body. Now inhale and bring one leg down, exhale, lift, inhale to the other side and exhale, come back. We want to do it 10 times each side here with your own breath and if you want to make it more challenging, just why not just bring both legs down at the same time here. Activate your feet and slowly come back. Make sure when you bring your legs down, you keep your back in neutral position, your hips down to the mat and pull the belly button in, stabilize your hips here. And we're gonna do it five more times with your own breath. So keep breathing, four, inhale down, and exhale, lead, and two. Very good, keep breathing, keep the same angle on your knees here. Now the last one, and slowly dorsi flex with your feet here. Shake your legs a little bit if you need to, and lift it up to 90 degree again. Arms along your body. Now lengthen one leg, and to the other side, and switch and to the other side. I'm gonna do it seven more times each side here with your own breath. So keep breathing six and try to lengthen all the way towards the front. There's someone pulling your leg away from your hips. Make sure we stabilize your hips here and pull the belly button in. Really keep your back in neutral here, arms along your body for more support. Beautiful. And two. Now last one. And slowly up your knee to your chest. Inhale deeply to your nose, rotate your ankle and then reverse, exhale deeply through your mouth. Alright, and now the next movement, I want you to lengthen your legs all the way up to the ceiling here. Activate your feet, arms along your body. Now inhale and start to bring one leg down and then switch to the other side. You're going to do it 10 times each side here with your own breath. So keep breathing, 9, 8, belly button in, 7, and 6. Try to lengthen your leg all the way up to the ceiling and the other leg just all the way towards the front. Really engage your core and pull the belly button in. Stabilize your hips here, make sure you press the hips down to the mat. And three, pull the belly in, back in neutral, lengthen your spine and inhale deeply to your nose, exhale deeply through your mouth and last one, to the other side and bend your knees, hug your knees to your chest. Inhale deeply to your nose, Rotate your ankles and exhale deeply through your mouth and reverse. Shake your hips a little bit, inhale and exhale. All right, and now I want you to allow yourself to leg, lift your legs up to 90 degree again. Dorsi flex with your feet here, arms along your body. Now this time slowly inhale, lengthen both legs to the front and then come back. Keep breathing here with your own breath. We're gonna do it 10 times here and nine, Pull the belly button in, eight. Very good, keep breathing, seven. And six. Inhale deeply through your nose, lengthen. Exhale deeply through your mouth, bring it back. And four. 
try to lengthen and lower your legs a little bit for more challenge but make sure when you do that just keep your back in neutral all the time and pull the belly button in for more support now last one inhale lengthen and exhale come back and bend your knees put your feet down shake your hips inhale deep into your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth all right now open your legs a bit apart here i want to to tuck your feet tuck the tailbone forward and draw your hips all the way up Press your whole arms down, now lift your heels up and then bring it down 10 times with your own breath. Keep breathing and engage your core as much as possible. If you feel like you can stabilize your hips here without putting your arms down for more support, I want you to try to bring your arms up for more challenge here. And now, every time you lift your heels up, I want you to bring your hands over your head and then come back. So engage your core as much as possible and we're going to do it seven six belly button in and five inhale deeply through your nose exhale deeply through your mouth four three inhale and exhale two and last one slowly bring your arms back and draw your hips all the way down to the mat shake your hips inhale deeply and exhale deeply and then slowly i want you to lift your legs up to 90 degree here lift your head and your shoulder off the mat pull the belly button in and feel free to use your hand to support your head if you need to otherwise i want you to try to lift your chest as high as you can and keep on feet distant from your chin to your chest now arms along your body and start to pump in your whole arms here inhale two three four five exhale two three four five inhale through your nose and exhale we're going to do it a couple more times so with your own breath. So chest a little bit higher and keep breathing. Very good. Inhale. And exhale. Try to keep breath and don't hold your breath because it's going to help to engage your core more. And again, always feel free to use your hand to support your head if you need to. Now, the more you can lift your chest up and pull your knee further away, from your hips and the more challenge your lower abs and your core that you're gonna feel. So keep breathing. And this core, the hundredth, is the amazing movement in Pilates, and it's always really classic because it helps the blood to circulate around your body. And it's the first position, the first movement I ever learned in Pilates. I love it so much. Now keep breathing and inhale. And exhale. And three more times, stick with your own breath. Two. And exhale. And last one. And exhale. And slowly bring your head and shoulders down. Have your knees to your chest. Shake your hips. Inhale deeply to your nose. And exhale deeply to your mouth. All right. Now I want you to allow yourself to lengthen one leg and lengthen your opposite leg up to the ceiling. Open your arms to the side and start to rotate your leg around your hips. So make sure when you do this, press both hips down to the mat. You can even put your hands on your hips to make sure it's stabilized. Only your legs is moving. If you want to make it easier, you can always bend your opposite knee and make sure whatever you do with your legs, stabilize the hips because it's going to help to engage and work all the muscles that it needs to work very good keep breathing inhale and exhale and reverse a couple more times sit with your own breath pull the belly button in lengthen your spine shoulder blades down all the way to the mat and keep your back in neutral position pull the belly button all the way towards the spine for more support and two now last one and back to the center bend your knee down to your opposite side lengthen and again start to rotate your leg you can make a tiny circle if you are beginners or if you have practiced for a while i want you to try to challenge yourself a little bit by go really further away and make sure when you do that your hips still stabilize here try to lengthen your leg all the way up to the ceiling keep breathing and three inhale halfway exhale halfway two and the last one and reverse very good keep breathing in with your own breath pull the belly button all the way in and three engage your core squeeze in the thighs and try to lengthen your leg too 
And the last one. And slowly bend your knees, hug your knees, rotate your ankles, and press your feet down. Open your legs a bit apart here. Lift your chest up and use your hand to support your head. Open your elbows wider, the last challenging here. I want you to inhale and exhale. Try to reach your torso up and then bring it down. So 10 times to your own breath. Inhale and exhale. Reach and down. Work your six back up here. Very good. Keep breathing. Try to lift a little bit higher here. And seven, six, belly button in five, and four, inhale, and exhale, lift, three, keep breathing here with your own breath, two, and last one, and slowly bring it down, come, lean on one side, and sit up, cross your leg, lengthen your spine, inhale deeply to your nose, and exhale deeply to your mouth, and slowly, inhale one more time, lengthen your spine, and sit on the mat, through your sitting bones, I want you to close your eyes, connecting your body to the mat, through your sitting bones here. Inhale, and exhale. And slowly open your eyes with you, you're ready. And that's the work of today, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed, and if you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe, and hit the bell to see notifications every day when I upload a new video. And see you in the next workout, bye!